Hey, how's it going again? It is Baz. And so yeah, we left off last time with the map. And a couple things that I didn't go over last time if you, is you do have your layers. We'll go more into this later, but it's it's awesome. You have infinite layers. You can have as many layers as you want. Um, oops. So yeah, you can't control Z those, apparently. <laughs> but, okay, right there. And then we'll go to layer one, which is what we were on. Um, let's see, the other thing was that, uh, this map is just going to be the screen. So if you did want the camera to move around and stuff, we actually are going to have to change the settings. So let's do that right now. Let's go to settings, uh, right click, go to, uh, scene settings, and then we're back at the screen where we can partition. So let's do a, let's do a two by two and then maximize this well maybe not and then uh, come down here where the uh, accessible by the player click all and then accessible by the camera click all and then hit ok and that will change it now it's a little bigger and then let's just uh, select a tile and let's just paint it so we have something now we can actually move around and later we'll I'll show you how to get the camera to move around and everything like that. But for now, let's go to animations because you can't really do much with just a map. So, yep, we did our player resource. Now we're in the animations. And so, not a lot going on right now. Right click, add an animation. And we want this, we will call this animation the player. And it can just be a basic uh, general name like this because this animation will have many motions, as you'll see. So let's see here. We'll call it that. We want it to be a motions. You can add notes. We want to register it to the image of the player. It comes up right here. If you are having problems with the partition, make sure that this is unchecked if it's uh, not an even one. Um, but by setting them in the resource tab, they automatically come like this. But if you know that they're even, you can just click even partition, or e yeah, partition it evenly and it'll just do it for you automatically. So if you want to plan ahead and do everything even, then that'll just make it probably simpler. But this works. So 4x8, that's cool. OK. And you can add more. Um, you can add as, I don't know if there's a max, but um, some of my tests I had like 7 for <laughs> the uh, player. All right, so we click OK. And now we have the animation uh, thing, which is awesome. So this is probably one of my favorite th parts about this program because it's actually it's a lot easier to use than unity um to me um unity you know definitely has more options but it, it now this is going to be a little confusing for rm coming from rm because you actually have to set up your walks you know walks just aren't set up from just being on the sprite sheet that's why um for instance let's see here if i click on that, that that's why for instance it doesn't matter what one because you're selecting them individually just like this so you have to think a little different you have to think about okay what states can my player be in well the first state that he can be in or the first motion sorry we'll call it motions here the first motion he can be in is an idle motion right and in rm that it defaults to the uh frame one of the sprite sheet. So that middle frame of the sprite sheet is what the idle one is. On this one, you have to make that. So you have an idle um, motion, and then you have a, a direction. So the first one, and I'll just kind of stick to RM stuff. The first one is down. And you can, lay, can name it whatever you want. And then also, you have to say what direction is this. And so it's down. And then you can go to the frame and you can click what one is the idle. So in our case, the idle is just this first one. And you will see right here that it changes as you select which one is the downward idle. So there we go. We got the downward idle. 
Um, quick thing here. Let's go back to player. And let's... So you can see the center right here the, where the red lines come to get. That is the... Uh, the pivot. There we go. <laughs> this is the word I was looking for. It's basically the pivot. And so when we start to do things where we want to walk behind objects or walk in front of objects, you want that pivot to be lower on the y-axis. So you want that. What I've been doing is I floor it, and that basically puts the sprite on the floor of of that pivot, and goes from there. You can also um, customize it. You can do center. Um, some people do center. In some cases, it might make more sense to do center. But I'm just going to do the floor for now because that's what's been working for me. Okay, so now let's go back to idle. The down, we selected that. And then the frame. Now, another cool thing here is you can... Uh, you technically don't need a right and left. You can just get away with just one because you can flip the horizontal and you can make a right frame out of a left frame. You can flip them upside down so you could have some cool effect or whatever. But anyway, this is the idle down. You can have it play a sound effect. Um, this is how many frames that it is going to take. Um, to do this one animation or how long this animation is going to play out one frame is fine for idle because it's just going to jump to idle and then that's it so that's all we need again you can just use which is really awesome and you can scale it do all this other stuff um, one quick thing let's go to player again or no maybe it's motion yeah motion you'll see here that there is um, a loop count and uh, for the idle, we don't need it looping. It's basically going to be running every frame, and that's just not good for the, you know, the system. So make sure looping's off for something like an idle. You'll see that when we walk and stuff like that, we'll want it looping, but some you don't want looping. You can also play in reverse. I tried that, and it it did look a little glitchy compared to just looping normally. There's probably some stuff, though, that you'll want to reverse instead. Okay, so we got the idle down. So now what you can do is you can click on the down, you can copy, and then you can paste. And then you can name this one left. And sometimes, okay, you have to click on the image sometimes. Sometimes it, it takes a second to pop, or you have to, like, click off and then click back. Again, it's just part of this UI. Now left is facing left, not down. And now you go to the individual frame and you click left. And everything's fine. So now you click on left, you control paste, you name this right. You click on on uh, him, get the, the frame, and you click on right. And this is basically it. Just copy paste again. You get up, change the frame to up idle. And we just set up our idle motion. Now you can get even, so now we're going to do walking. So you can right click, add a new, or you can add a new motion like this, and then set up all these again individually, or you can click on idle. Uh, copy and paste it and we'll name this one walking or walk and then again this is that that glitch that I don't know why it doesn't do it the first time there we go okay if you're having problems just click off of it and then click back on it another thing to do is to save often <laughs> in case the glitches mess up something so we talked about idle, we didn't want the loop, but walking, we are going to want it to loop. So we'll loop it, and we're going to want the frames, we, we're not going to want the frames at 1, so we're going to want the frames about, let's start with 5. And then we can 
go down here and actually let's see here frame count to display actually I'm just gonna leave this at one let's just <laughs> let's be safe I haven't experimented with that lately or at all so let's go to down so we're walking down and it's already set up oh you know what this is where you gotta be careful let's go back to our idle Down is facing down, left is facing left, right is facing right, not left, and up is facing up, not left. So when you do copy paste, make sure that you are setting these to the direction of your input. Because what this is saying is, when I press up, this is the direction that it's going to play. Okay, so now let's go back into to walking. We're going to have to change them here to because we, I messed up. So right is right, and up is up. And now let's go back to down, and we have our first frame, which is uh, the idle one. But it doesn't need to be the idle one because we already had the idle um, previously before you started walking. So actually your first frame is going to be one of walking so click on the frame if you're ever stuck on why like why can't I click on this it's because you have to be on the frame you have to be on the frame to change it so yeah that, that was frustrating at first but actually really easy to get over so we want the frame to be five we want this to play for five frames and then we will copy paste it now right here on this frame, we will choose the center because now it's going back and then we will copy paste again and then we will choose um, this one again. And since, it's, since you might be in a position where you're not going back to idle, now you need to copy paste again <clears throat> and do a, another idle so that it can keep going. And now let's take a look, we can click play and he's walking. It's pretty fast, so let's change the frames here. You can move them just, you can click on them and move them just like this. And then on the last one, you would just add, uh, oh, it's probably just easier to do this. So go to here, put six, uh, we'll go uh, eight frames. Eight frames. No, 85, 8, 8 frames. Just make sure you have an 8F on all of them. Again, sometimes it's really buggy. You'll be changing one and then it changes another. The, the UI is the weakest link here. Yeah, right there. That looks good. That looks like he's walking. So he's walking down and he's looping and everything looks good for that. So now let's do our left um, animation we've got him good on there so now we'll click on the frame you can see that's light gray whatever area you're selected so if you're like oh I can't get it oh yeah I'm on direction frame okay so the first frame we want to be this and we decided on 8 we will copy paste change this to a sh uh, idle and then paste again go back to the other walking the other hand motion and then paste and go back to our idle which will then loop just like that okay okay now we'll go to the right and we will do the same thing click on the frame he's walking now with eight, copy paste, middle, paste, other arm, paste, middle. It's pretty simple to just make up a motion like this. It's it's actually really cool. Okay, and we'll get into this stuff later. Let's just focus on just getting these animations. And then we go up, click on the frame, 
since he's already idling, his first frame will be a walking. Change this to eight. Copy paste. Go back to idle, copy paste. Go back to the other walking, copy paste. Go back to idle. And there he's walking up now. All right, so we made an idle animation, a walking animation, or motion. Again, for each motion, you have to do the direction of, and then for each direction, you have to do the frames that consist. So in our walking, we had down, and we had all the frames that associate with down. Here's all the frames that associate with left, etc. In the next um, video, we will now go over objects, and we will get the idle on an object, and then get the walk on an object. And hopefully you have some time to put it in the scene and, and see it working. All right.